Hi again, just reading this. This is the second place we explored as people. There's a big skull dead in the ground. That looks a little bit bigger than the Cyberdemon, in my opinion, so I'm glad that the biggest thing we've faced so far is the Cyberdemon. We also learned a little bit about the... Hello? There we go. Spectre. Spectre is the unfortunate result of a misguided attempt to genetically modify the pinky. Several pinkers were gathered by three in an attempt to increase ocular opacity to never captain the plant and return to enclosure to recover. Accidentally released the invisible spectre of escape. Okay. So we put a cacodemon into a pinky and ended up with an invisible pinky. Otherwise, no known differences. Very, very uh, similar to the, the good old demons of old. And the spectre, all right. We don't have much in the way of ammunition right now. I haven't really been using the plasma rifle as much as I could, mostly because the ammunition keeps going on the uh, gauss cannon, which is a lot more useful. But I think possibly stunning things occasionally might have some use for me, so I should think about doing that. It's a little bit of a cheap texture, everyone, so don't look at that too hard. Here's some more lore. Zap is that. Oh. Despair spread before him like a plague, striking fear to the shadow dwellers, driving them to deeper and darker pits. But from the depths of the abyss rose the Great One, a champion mightier than all who had come before. The titan of immeasurable power and ferocity. Is that me? <laughs> I don't think it is. I think I'm the Doom Slayer. Oh, I see. So the big skull I mentioned was the Titan. That's what David and Goliath think. Which in English is pronounced rooted, but I still don't know what it is actually means in context. I have found it! Hooray! So that's the uh, new Soul Sphere, and of course we already picked one of those up in the previous episode when we found the uh, original styled secret. So now we are being offered the opportunity to go back into this arena and presumably fight it all over again because I don't know what's good for me. Yep. Oh, we don't actually fight this one in the first place, did we? Oh, Berserk, cool. Hello? Nice. Don't know if I'm actually taking damage here. Can we uh, talk about how there's no one around for me to punch in the face? Honestly, that's my bad for not realizing that was a berserk sphere. But you know, we just glory kill everything in one hit. So let's get down with this particular sickness. Is it giving us the? Uh... Yeah, it's giving us the reward for glory killing things as well. So pretty happy with the way this is turning out. Unfortunately, I, I genuinely did think that it was a um, BFD ammo, so... Excuse me, I don't want you here. I'm trying to kill that thing. You're not helping. Get around here and glory kill that joker. Good. I don't want to overkill these because I want the ammo from them. There we go. Also, that thing really needs to stop doing what it's doing right now. Uh, this is the only option right now, so I guess we use it. <laughs> so is the chainsaw, mind you. The, the G-key? Nope, not an option. Okie dokie. Where are you? There you are. Gonna have to use all my uh, explosive attacks on this one in order to actually presumably do enough damage in the first place to get rid of it. Uh, which is annoying because I keep missing. Which is a bit of a pain. Get it. Nice. And then this thing. Looks like a mini Titan, if I'm being honest. 
the, uh, whatever that was helps. What was it? Oh. Nice. I'm going to carry that. I keep pressing Q and it goes back and I'm confused because I want to switch back because it says I'm out of ammo and then I'm out of ammo. And, oh, heavens above. All right, weapon upgrade point gained. Is that enough yet to do something of importance? Please say it might be. Artifacts, you say? Oh, the testament. Yeah, okay. Uh, weapon upgrade points. We have seven. We can upgrade the charge burst, which I'm not using. Um, a lock-on burst I currently am using, but I don't know if locking it quicker would be better. I'm not really improving that very much. Yes, I will buy that. Thank you. Again, not really using that one very much, but it's more a case... Uh, so in order to improve the... You know what? In order to improve this, I need to use it in a ammo inefficient way, which I'm not down with. Which means I don't get to use the chain gun because I've used all my bullets on the, the rockets. But I'm never going to be able to actually upgrade those rockets, so it's probably more sensible to admit defeat on that. Um, and, and just use what I'm used to on this, which is the ability to zoom in and do extra damage, and save the ammo for the chain gun as well. So let's go through this door and hope for the very best that it's not the most scariest thing could ever happen to a person. Again, with this rocket launcher, I wasn't really making the best use of the charge shot, uh, of the det remote detonator shot. Oh, hello. So, I don't mind having this one out until we can at least upgrade it a little bit better. A bit more about Olivia Pierce. Yeah, turns you have to move to Mars, become a recluse, become friends. Um, so, she became a recluse and then opened the door to hell. Oh, look, an invisible wall so that we don't explore important things if we can possibly avoid it. Uh, well. Maybe not having the rocket launcher out when we step through that is going to be a good idea. Let's use a super shotgun. That was the end of that. Interestingly, didn't actually mean to do any of that. Uh, I didn't know I could do that. Um, I, I do apologise actually, I didn't read any of those challenges before we started, but I did very well at the combat and there was a door that I noticed I never went through and I assumed that this was going to teleport me to somewhere else. Having realised now that it was a big red teleporter, it was very obvious that it wasn't going to do that. Uh, just stepped in it, but let's move on. We want to get this game through, and then we can start having a look at... Um, maybe I'll piece together a video or two using the magic of editing to show the bits that I missed on the way through as I, um, as I discover them if I choose to. I'll probably play this in single player, but I will record it at the same time. So I found the crucible, so we need to reclaim the crucible. So as I suspected, this was reclaiming the war sense rather than reclaiming the in the picking up an item sense, unfortunately. Oh no, reclaim the crucible from its tomb. So it's in the, the not the war sense. All right, well, I'm scared of everything. What's our ammunition like? Not brilliant. So we'll have, let's get the chain gun out because we've got penetrative shots on this now piercing shots. Several doors. This seems like a bit of a trope from the original Doom as well. That's cool. Obviously hell runs on clockwork. These um, these packets are making me think that maybe it's going to be gas cannon chain gun. That actually seems like a really good idea. I hate the fact that these are only three each. <laughs> really putting me off, mate. Really feeling like you're not actually... I really feel like the game doesn't have it... Like they're not on the same team as me right now. Okie dokie. Well, we don't have the um, key for this, but we can apparently jump in there. It wants me to, so we should. Map updated and some information about... Cyber Mancubus. Okay, that's the one that was just really difficult to... Sorry. Let's, uh, let's look at that. Stream of Demons has been long... No, this one. Dr. Pierce. Olivia Pierce made this, basically. Good job. Well done. Uh, we can go back. I think I've explored everything in there. Well, let's look at look at that. Just have a check on the map. We have stepped back into here. I'm going to double check that I've got all... Oh, there's a chainsaw. 
ammo. There's two doors there, which obviously open scary things. Nothing else in here, but I did miss this. So let's pick up that. That could turn out to be a way of getting out. 42% health, by the way, as mentioned, that uh, he's never seen anyone have as much trouble with ammo as I have. Um, maybe he's never seen anyone be as bad at actually hitting enemies as I have. Uh, there's a manky bus up here, guys, so maybe uh, turn around and go back. Which I might as well just change for now. Here you go. Can't kill it! Can't kill it! Run away! Run away! Nice. Pick up this HP quick. These things are eight each. These are better than the actual vials of HP, which actually give me HP, actually. Also, I didn't ask you to open, so I'm not going to go that way just yet. That seems like a fair trade. A door that was not open and is now open is not a way I'm going to go. When the way that I was going to go, which was already open, I haven't been yet. Info. Let's learn this. The wretch. Who is this? The wretch. Okay. So some wretch. Maybe that wretch is the person who I played in original Doom. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the, the demonic voice seems a little bit biased against the Doom Slayer. I reckon we max out ammo because I'm having trouble with it. Meaning that if I get an ammo pod, can we have enough of the combat music? By the way, I, I get it. I want to be down there. That looks like a section of an old Doom map. So this is where the lever will open. I very much remember that map because it's the one that I died on several times. You probably remember it. It was I think the start of Act Two or Three, uh, and I saved just before being attacked. <laughs> You'll recognise it definitely when you see it. Let's uh, just do that, <laughs> and then do that. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a pinky with a stealth boy. Don't worry about it. What was that? Bullets. Nice. Ah, uh, so I'm hoping to be able to find that lever. It's presumably somewhere close to it, but I, honestly, I couldn't swear to that. Die. Missed, missed, I missed. Miss Red. It's a general knowledge question. Again, another reference to British TV, which the uh, Americans among you may not understand. That was. That was. Big Break. A, a game show based on snooker. Because we do that in this country. Who bases a game show on snooker? A game show on snooker. It's not smart. It was actually very, um. Very popular. Die. It would be nice if the penetrating nature of the uh, chainsaw, chain gun shot there, was um, penetrating through ice. Is that a death from above? How is that not a death from above? Can we talk about this? Excuse me, sunshine? Um, it was a very successful show. So it's a bit rude to say that it was. I mean, it was crap. <laughs> it, was, it was about snooker. So let me, let me explain the premise, because not everybody knows it. As far as I... Of course, this is coming from a, uh, a, a long-term memory right now. There would be a professional snooker player, and then uh, a contestant who had somehow rolled enough dice correctly to be slumbered with this professional snooker player, and a professional snooker player was faced with a snooker... Um, table, set up, standard, and he had to pot as many balls as he could. 
That was basically the thing. Pot as many balls as you can. If he missed a pocket, then you had to answer a question based on the pocket that he missed. Based on the colour of the ball that he missed, my mistake. Not the, not the pocket. That would imply that the corner that he was aiming at. No, the ball that he was aiming with determined the question that the contestant had to answer. So you can see how one professional snooker person and one uh, non-professional general knowledge boffin, I guess, would uh, pair up. And the idea was, of course, that the professional snooker player didn't fuck up. So that the general knowledge person did not then... Uh, no, this is not useful. Did not then have to uh, answer a question that they may not know the answer to. Hello! Know the answer to. So, of course, Miss Red, not a, not a contestant in a beauty pageant, but rather what happens when you miss the red ball is that you have to answer a general knowledge question. Which is obviously the worst type of question because general knowledge is the least useful knowledge. It's like non specific understanding of everything that's not even understanding. Attention paying. Non specific attention paying to everything that's going on around you. Why are you in this world? Get out of here. I have successfully not hurt myself with that. So I think the enemies stagger longer. That was one of the things I did. That enemy was shooting that enemy, which I believe was not scripted because I wasn't paying attention to it. However, it's also quite rare. Nice. We should check out what I have to do on this, by the way. Kill a Mancubus with the pistol. Kill two Cacodemons with one shot somehow. And kill ten demons with explosive barrels. Well, that should be fairly easy. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do anything else. Well, let's lock onto this Joker. This is the sort of time when I would very much like to have sped that up. Yes, get in, get in. He's done it. Back of the net. Back of the net, by the way, uh, presumably it's a football reference. That's English football, which is soccer. Because um, the idea is that in football you... Aim at the back of the net. Well, let's kill this Bankibus with this pistol. There is one here. And I do have a pistol. <laughs> so many asked, he was like, excuse me, what was that? Might take some time. Um, so, go make a cheese sandwich or something. I would like, like, spider mod or something so I knew how much HP this Joker had. That was easy. Challenge complete. Weapon upgrade point earned, probably because of the challenge, I think about it. They, they do like to do that, so that's rockets. Yeah, we'll press this. Let's have a map. Auto map downloaded. I do appreciate hell, which is where we are, um, just giving us auto maps like that. It's very appreciated. Also, it's compatible with my suit, which I kind of expect, actually, now I think about it, because the suit wasn't made here. Uh, for here, from here, etc. So I'm guessing we can't go down there yet. Oh, that's bright. Maybe that's the way out. Uh, there's a. It says I can go down here, but I can't. Obviously, it must be to do with the way the actual real map is generated in in game, basically. Uh, which is to say, thanks for railroading me so much. Um, not not that. That's not what I meant. Um you would have a large square arena and you'd fill in the gaps with these bits of architecture and scenery which would thus produce the the world around you but the actual auto map is probably just showing the architecture and scenery the, the lack of architecture and scenery so i guess when they did it they had to very carefully ensure that they didn't do too much that looked like you could get from one place to another Although they didn't necessarily do that too well. I did have this key. So, put that there. Is that going to open? Yes. What's it going to open onto? I was honestly hoping that that was something that went backwards in a weird non-Euclidean manner. But no, it's just a, a real thing. I'm just going to wind this up, apparently. What would you do if you were faced with some gears in hell? 
They just turn him. Twice. Exactly twice. Climb up there? I would. Parkour? No. This, uh, I mean, this guy I'm playing has obviously been in hell for a long time. A little bit too much to ask that he's probably heard of the trend of parkour, um, which is a very human thing. I, I don't like this. But this is another Doom, original Doom level, basically. I do remember it. <laughs> Have I got enough ammo to do this? No. But I'm out of ammo, so that's fine too. I would like to... Glory kill you, please? Glory... Glory hold you? Hello, why are you in my field of view? Get out of here. I picked up armor. That was not a good idea. Also, that caca demon teleported to me. I'm just saying that I'm calling glitch. If I don't do this this time, it's been about 20 minutes since we started this video, so I will probably go to hell to sleep. <laughs> <coughs> I do apologize. I would cut that out, but I'm really not going to. Um, it's just not in my nature, you know. I... Basically, I'm just going to... No, shotgun these jokers. Glory kill them, get ammo and HP. And use that on these jokers, who are now over here, which I don't like. That I do like. One shot in uh, an incubus, which is a, a, what we call a malapropism. I knew that it was called a mancubus. I intentionally used the term incubus, which is another thing. Which we have previously talked about, which was a callback to the previous episode. So, uh, I believe a malapropism is not necessarily intentional all the time, but it is the sort of thing that, you know, you can, it can be used for humorous effect. Uh, although the humorous effect may not be what you were going for when you used it, you may have just been thinking you were using the right word when you weren't. I do like the gas gun. Unfortunately, it uses one heck of a lot of ammunition. Oh, that was a shame. I was kind of hoping that I would be able to glory kill that. What? All right, one more try. Well, I, I promise. Last go. I was hoping I'd be able to glory kill that cacodemon and get some more shit out of it, but I manage it. I do want to get that quad damage. Oh, <laughs> I mean to do that. Uh, so we want this and this. And I would like more of the Gauss cannon ammunition so that I can use it against the other things. Which make me sad. In not just the pants, but everywhere. Kill that. Good job. Do get a little bit disorientated sometimes when I... That was an amazing jump. Honestly, if you'd just been watching these imps, you would have been able to learn a little bit about parkour. So, I really have that much... Um, I don't really have that much sympathy for you, to be honest with you. You can climb on things, which I think is admirable, but... I would, I'll be up that, like a shot. Oh yeah, yeah, this is what we want. Actually, this is what we want here. No. Nope. Yes, it worked. Very happy with that. Uh, in case you were wondering what worked, I managed to shoot both of them with one gas cannon shot, which is the whole point of having that thing penetrating in the first place. Also, this is outrageously powerful. Try not to overkill them so that I can get some more benefit out of them. Got him. Sweet. Uh, now let's use this again. Missed. You leave me alone right now. Nice. I do like it when they sort of set themselves up for failure. Nope. Low ammo, not what I want. Uh, shotgun. She's a shotgun. This thing's not got long to go, and we would like to maybe glory kill it to get some ammo back for everything else. At some point, that quad shot has to open. Nice! That's not uh, quad damage, I mean, not quad shot. Quad shot, of course, being a very good item in Isaac. More baddies? Yes. We've got to hold on to this for now. Did I get three? Yes! <laughs> I did! 
It even registered it for me. Right, this is when we want to use it. Get in there. Get in there. Great. Appreciate that. Uh, sure. This is actually really good against these when you have... Um... I don't quite know why my shots were not reaching that thing. This is definitely the time to be firing normal bullets into big enemies. Of course, this would have been a great time to just, you know, use the pistol. Is that it? Checkpoint reached? Checkpoint reached, right. So we've got plenty of quad damage left. Although I'm happy that I used it when I did. Although there was a little bit of like wastage at the end, I would prefer to have definitely had enough quad damage to kill that joker than, um, than to have run out while still trying to kill his macubuses on an ever-dwindling supply of ammunition. Well, that's, um, I managed to complete it without ending the episode, so I hope that you appreciate that, because it doesn't happen all the time. Uh, I will take this, and having borrowed this for my purposes temporarily, I'm going to leave you there and say thank you for watching. I hope you will uh, enjoy the next episode as much as you've enjoyed this episode, but I'm not going to record that right away. I'm going to leave that another few days. I hope that you will continue to watch the Life is Strange series if you're watching that. Remember to leave a like and a thumbs up, and which is the same thing, and uh, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, because you should have subscribed to this channel, because we actually do produce videos once in a while, and uh, yeah, all your support means a great deal to us, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.